Shaggy, walkie rounders, thumb having riff raff, rank and file and the like. Quiet hush and a lay, ye app swiping, strolly binge posting cells for a blessed moment. And draw your eyes upwards, for I have seen red on the wind. Smelt the chill, and I noticed some shit. <laughs> oh, I know the times are tough. They call for more drink and carouse. A stiff hand to lessen your tensions. But be not a fappened. Tighten up and steal yourselves. For remember, remember, tis already the 5th of fucking November. <laughs> And I see no reasons the season should be forgot. The days grow shorter. The air's getting pissy as the eventide slaps its wet blanket over the sexy witch costumes your sons and daughters hath been sporting in the months previous, faster and sooner than it hath before. Humans, hark unto me. May your comment sections be offed. Your hot takes be cooled. Your group chats be silenced for a goddamn minute, cause the world be turning too fast these days, and ye hath not noticed there's blood on the sea. So remember, remember, tis already the 5th of November, and the holiday season be upon us. And by that, I mean Christmas. <laughs> like, man, I wanna be nervous for Kwanzaa starting on December 26th. I wish someday to be worried about Hanukkah starting on December 19th and how the hell are we gonna drive home and all that Festival of Lights traffic. <laughs> Thankfully, it's starting on a Monday this year. I would give anything to fear Wright Brothers Day on December 17th <laughs> when we celebrate the first successful flight of the mechanically propelled airplane, the children bedecked with tiny prop motors running in the streets choked with sparklers before making the annual trek to Kill Devil's Hill in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, where we will dance and sing for 12 seconds to honor the beginning of the aviation age. But it's not that. It's never that. It's fucking Christmas. And it's not even real Christmas. The holy Christian holiday of Christ's mass, celebrating the birth of Jesus and such. The fact that it's even in December is a bit of a dart throw. It's kind of gnar to assume that when Jesus was born, there were pine trees, snow, Best Buy deals, and Mariah Carey was on loop in the manger. But we do not have time to get into the hows and whys. We're past that. It's the 5th of November already. You can Google all that in January. The frost is already on the Home Depot. All the remaining 50-foot skeleton animatronics have been taken out back to be burned and sacrificed for a calm winter, as it has always been. Just walk past a Target, and you will catch nose whips of peppermint and cookies. We're just gonna blast past Thanksgiving, apparently, which is fine, it's cold, we'll eat. You can't find pumpkin spice to save your shipmates' souls in the waters now, nay, tis too late. That limited edition flavor evaporated faster than the McRib. Blink, and you'll be drowned in the Christmas tide, whether you'll love it or not. The Lovecraftian god of the festival season has you in its pine-scented tentacles, driving ye mad with nog and song until your bank account is dried, leaving you snug in your Banana Republic Italian yarn that your aunt got you to sleep a thousand years until the summer wakes ye and the fucking wheel turns again. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. The bells, the bells be ringing. My God, has it already started? The memory of pumpkins and cider have faded. The thoughts of trimmings and mashed potatoes forgotten. Remain strong, boys. Hold fast. And remember, remember the hot dogs of summer. The rocket's red glare. Hell, I'll take a fucking Cadbury cream egg and all this bedlam to put me right. To give me but a whiff of firework powder. But alas, tis too late. The jingling hath begun. The stockings hang in the holly jolly storm waving like failed revolutions as the glog is poured hot over the memories of holidays past. Christmas is already here, me lads. It hath never gone. And we're all about to feel it in our wallets. The National Retail Federation has released their forecast on November 3rd for the holiday spending as tis dire. Holiday retail sales during November and December will grow between 6% and 8% over 2021 
to between $942.6 billion and $960.4 billion. Last year's holiday sales grew 13.5% over 2020 and totaled $889.3 billion, shattering previous records. To quote NRF President and CEO Matthew Shea, while consumers are feeling the pressure of inflation and higher prices, and while there is continued stratification with consumer spending and behavior among households at different income levels, consumers remain resilient and continue to engage in commerce. In the face of these challenges, many households will supplement spending with savings and credit to provide a cushion and result in a positive holiday season. Basically, no one can afford Christmas, but fuck it. We're setting sails and driving straight through the storm into credit debt come hell or high water. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you should be applauding that, but I appreciate it. E-commerce is expected to reach between 260 and 264 billion dollars, crushing debt cards into paste and sending Bezos back into space where he will laugh as the Yuletide swallows us all in delightful buttercream, horrible in its beauty, leaving us all to cry for a sailor, a swashbuckler, the fucking old man from Jaws to scratch his grisly hand down the chalkboard, letting us know there is hope because he is just salty enough to go after the beast that is Christmas. But like, I also get it. <laughs> like, I love Coco. I love a snuggly festive sock. I love singing songs that everybody knows all the harmonies to. It's scary out there. And fucking on a hot rug by a fire is literally the greatest import the Midwest has in the later months. <laughs> Fuck, man. Twinkly lights on trees, warm and glows, and fucking presents! You could wrap a pickle in shiny shit and I'd open it with glee. <laughs> Wrapping presents is like deep frying. It just makes everything great. It's not a challenge. Of course I'm obsessed with the songs. I won't say the names, because then they'll get stuck in your head. And that's the kind of madness I wouldn't wish on anybody. But fuck, when it starts, I'll clear a bench with the best of them. Of course we all would, because it's fucking cold. What the hell else is there to do but light up and sing the madness away? It's natural. It's part of the ecosystem. But it's getting out of control. The shark is moving out of its normal eating spots and is snacking in the kiddie pool now. So consider this, my fingers on the chalkboard, humans. Oh, you all know me. You all know how I make my living. I'll catch this holiday for ye, but it ain't gonna be easy. Bad holiday. Not like going down to Walgreens chasing Halloween or Fourth of July. This holiday will swallow you whole. A little tinsel, a little twinkly lights, and down you go. And we gotta do it quick. That'll bring back your winter. Put your businesses back on a paying basis. But it's not gonna be pleasant. I value my December more than a few beers, Chief. I'll find Christmas for beer, but I'll catch it, kill it, for an ounce of Pineapple Express, a bottle of Redemption High Rye Bourbon, and dinner at Los Molcajitas on Montrose. <laughs> if you want to stay alive, then ante up. If you want to play it cheap, be surrounded by overpriced twinkly decorations laughing at your poor ass's face in the whole winter. I don't want no volunteers. I don't want no mates. There's just too many captains in this town. Just my weed, my whiskey, and my platios de mariscos for me by myself. For that to get the head, the tail, the song, the spangles, and the minty coffee drinks, the whole damn thing. Give me some fucking presents and I'll hunt this fucker down before it takes all your money. Cause it's the 5th of fucking November and ye better get ready for a merry fucking Christmas.